and I've been asked a couple of times how I uh, got my custom gun sounds for 5M. Um, so I thought I'm going to make a little video about how I installed those. Um, first thing you want to do is make sure you've got OpenIV. If you do not have OpenIV already, go to the link in the video description. That's where you can download OpenIV. Um, make sure you've set it up correctly and it works as you're going to see in the video. So once you've got OpenIV, you're going to open OpenIV. That is not what I wanted. Like I said, open OpenIV. <coughs> Wait for it to load. Depending on your system, click whatever. For me, it's Windows, obviously. Just going to start up real quick. And you should be prompted in to your GTA folder. Now, that's where we are. Now, you want to go to the other link in the video description and download the folder from Google Drive. Uh, once you've done that, you will get a folder like this. You open it, you have a zipped folder over here. Um, click it, right click it, and click uh, extract here or something within those lines, depending on your language. I'm going to click that. Yeah. All right, you've got that here now. All right, uh, remember this. Right, so this .oiv uh, file, this is the one you want first. So you go back to your OpenIV right here. Gonna go to Tools. Gonna go to Package Installer. But now we need to locate that .oiv file. So for me, that is C drive. Actually, I can just go to Desktop, 5M Gun Sounds. Um, this one, I believe. Yep, right here. OIV. Double click it, it's going to say install. This package cannot be installed automatically. Uh, just click install. Game folder. Install. And then it is going to install these um, gun sounds for you. Might take a while depending on your computer, but mine is pretty fast. So I've done that. Alright, now keep your uh, OpenIV open in case you might need it. So the second thing that obviously read the README as well if you do not know what you're doing. Um, but you've got a folder here. Let me close this real quick. You've got a folder here named Archive Fix. Now there's quite some files in here. You can ignore all of these except this one. All right. So what you want to what you want to do is open up File Explorer. You want this window open, but you can minimize it if you want to. So you can put it like there. Alright, so the second thing you want to do is locate your GTA 5 folder. Normally, this is your default Steam folder. Um, if you're not sure where it's located, go to your Steam, then click on GTA 5, and then Properties, and then click Local Files, and then you can click Browse Local Files. Right? But I'm sure you know where to find your GTA 5 folder. So press Steam, go to Steam Apps, come on, Grand Theft Auto 5 right here. Right, so we're in the main directory. You don't want to fuck anything up here, so do just follow me on what I'm doing. All right. So where you want to go is you want to go to X64. You want to go to Audio. You want to go to SFX. Right, right here you want to scroll all the way to the bottom. You've got Weapon uh, underscore Player dot RPF. Yeah. You want to drag that onto the Archive Fix. It will say Open with Archive Fix. Right. It's going to open this, and that's basically done. All right, so you press any key, and this closes, and you're done for weapons player to RPF. Um, now, you also need resident.rpf. So let me just find that here real quick. Resident.rpf, right here. Do the same thing. Drag it over the, the archive fix. Done. All right, now you're done here. You want to go back. One, two, three three times till you're back in your GTA 5 directory. Alright, so you're gonna go to update next time, gonna go to X64, gonna go to DLC packs, and here you wanna find MP gun running. Believe is MP gun MP gun running right here. This DLC RPF, you wanna drag that over to archive fix as well. Press a key, done. Now you wanna go back and you want to find MP Lowrider 2. Right here. You want to go in there. 
Do the same thing for your DLC, the RPF, our cafes. Done. All right. Now you are completely done. This should work. If you encounter any problems, do the whole thing again. All right. Uh, in the dot readme file that you get when you download the um, archive fix and the uh, gun sound uh, installer, it will uh, show my Discord in case you encounter any problems. Feel free to message me on there. All right. Um, if you have any questions, you can try and put it in the comments as well, and I'll try and resolve it with you. I'm not an expert in this, and uh, I've learned it from another YouTube channel. If you want to find out who that is, uh, that is in the README file as well, so credits go to him. But I thought I'd explain it a little bit differently, because a, a lot of people still have problems, um, even if they followed his tutorial. So I hope this works. Um, I hope you enjoy your custom guns on 5M, and if you have any problems, message me on Discord.